The Zambia Revenue Authority is charged with the task of collecting and accounting for all taxes, customs, and other revenues through effective administration and enforcement of the laws relating to those revenues. In the past, the Zambia Revenue Authority relied on a tedious, inefficient, labor-intensive and time-consuming manual system. We used to have instances where by the time you are getting the export permit, uh, at times the phyto phytosanitary might have expired. It was really, really a challenge. There was that issue of uh, centralization where, as uh, Secretary General for Stock Feed and Import Point of View, mainly we deal with uh, maize brands. So basically, most of our permits were gotten from Mulungoshi. And um, we had members who had to travel from as far as Kasama, Mongo, just to um, obtain an export permit from here. So it was not just cumbersome, it was costly. When you look at it, then a permit was uh, 52 kwacha, 15 gwe, but one would spend close to a thousand just obtaining that permit. The customs clearing process was a manual process. Right from the border, the entry point of all imports and goods in transit, the clearing process involved filling in numerous documents. When things were manual, it was actually tedious. Tedious in the sense that uh, you had to move from one office to the other. Like in our case, our institution is actually allocated uh, in Chongwe area. And then what used to happen is you needed to move from there to Mount Makulu uh, to actually get the first permit from there. Now what is actually happening is we are actually getting everything we need under one roof or under one platform. It's a one-stop shop, I would actually say. When you actually have all the necessary details required for you to actually apply for a phytosanitary certificate, export permit, import permit, you actually have to do it online, wherever you actually are. I don't necessarily need to move from one place to another. I can do it from the comfort of my home, my office, anywhere I am. So it's actually much easier and much better as compared to the way it was previously. When goods have arrived at the border, the manual telling was done after which the arrival notice was manually prepared for the clearing agent to commence the clearing process. If there was an inspection to be done, it worsened the entire process because this would equally depend on the quantities the truck was carrying. For goods that required a permit or standards verification, it was another process to go to the Zambia Bureau of Standards to get clearance for the goods. From the time we started uh, using the Zambia Electronic Single Window, it has been very effective. The system has, been, has seen some efficiency, some effectiveness in terms of processes. Um, in the past, it would even take five, seven days for you to clear a certain uh, product. But now, as we speak, uh, we've reduced that uh, time frame from long periods of five to seven days, even more, to under 24 hours sometimes. You know, if there's a situation where there's non-compliance, like I said earlier on, we try by all means to send back the documentation to the client and the client, because it's business, you remember, they want to move their projects. So, uh, all in all, the maximum I would say is three, three days. And before single window, you will find that uh, uh, people used to spend much time on the border because of um, processes. You know, ZRI is not the only um, agency at the border. We have these other border agencies like uh, Zamra, uh, we have like Zixa, uh, Ministry of Agriculture, we mentioned but a few. So before single window, what used to happen is if uh, uh, goods are meant to be checked by these other agencies, then they'll have to lodge in physical documents in all these offices, and that used to take time to the clients. 
The Zambia electronic single window is now in place after being rolled out by the government of the Republic of Zambia in the year 2016, with several government agencies coming on board. It's also part of the government's wholesale modernization agenda to make Zambia smarter by adopting automated services to the citizens, reduce the cost of doing business, and improve efficiencies in the trade environment. The launch of the Zambia Electronic Single Window System has brought about efficiencies and productivity, time management, and reduced cost of doing business. The electronic platform under the single window has more advantages than the manual processes we had before. Um, and uh, the benefits are many, and perhaps I can just highlight the main ones. One of them is the reduced cost of doing business. Before the traders that would apply for payments will have to drive and submit their manual applications to the different agencies uh, under the Ministry of Agriculture. But now with the single window, they are able to apply electronically in the comfort of their offices. Uh, we have what we call the Mount Agency Risk Management, which is an engine that has been built in the uh, custom system, which is the scooter out. And the uh, regulated agencies are able to actually electronically uh, to uh, intervene uh, on their product of interest. What we mean is that uh, if there is a product of interest of one regulated agency, once the declaration is submitted to, to the customs uh, uh, system, uh, in real time that uh, product or that declaration is also channeled to that regulated agency. And we have one or two that are able to even intervene in real time. In their day-to-day -day operations, customs collect a lot of data. And that's where data analytics comes in. So uh, the purpose of data analytics to customs really, and where it really comes in handy is to provide an avenue for them to identify the illicit uh, trades. Uh, that comes down to they need to be able to identify the placements and also the the goods that are involved in that illicit trade. At the border, the clearing agent now only goes to one office and electronically fills in all the data which is immediately available to the relevant offices. All information captured by customs is available on the single window system. After the physical tallying, the system generates all the information needed for the clearing process. We have made commitments uh, that we are going to facilitate trade and the Zambia single electronic single window is one such uh, uh, commitment and uh, a tool to facilitate trade. But uh, also uh, we are conforming to government's policy uh, on e-government uh, where government is encouraging the use of e-commerce uh, to improve service delivery. Uh, going forward we we see it as uh, the main tool to facilitate trade, uh, and also it's, um, it's a modernization uh, approach to doing business and customs. It has allowed us to streamline uh, of our services, and as you may know, there are a number of players uh, that do the operation of imports, exports, and other things like transit. Uh, so. This is the best way in which we can provide this service in that uh, everything is done at one point.